Howdy folks, and welcome back. I just took that destroyer file knife and carved off a little somewhat dry area on this log, this pine log I was beating on. It is just so wet out here. Everything is wet. All right, this video, I'm gonna do a teeny little fire that my sister from another mister up there in Wisconsin Cheesehead, Dawn from South Ball Bushcraft, has started a new challenge where she was so nice and so kind and she's just so full of awesomeness that she uh, did a video last night showing some stuff I had sent her. One was a Condor basic four inch bushcraft knife and I had made her a couple of pouches uh, for fire kits. One just a regular um, leather pouch for her fire kit and another was like a little mini pouch necklace and I threw some odds and ends in there for her to start a fire. And it was basically just a little novelty thing because she likes micro stuff and stuff like that. But anyway, she was kind enough to show it all off last night and do a video on it, which I really appreciate Dawn. Thank you, you're, you're awesome. That's why I love you so much. You're just so good and so kind and I don't wanna stop because it's gonna blow her head up. <laughs> all right, so she started a challenge where she wants us to take a one inch fire rod, which I gave her a toggle ferro rod on her little mini kit. All right, so a one inch ferro rod and make a fire, or at least start a fire. Well, that's fine, dandy. That's, you know, that's good. I can do that, I think. But. I'm gonna take it one step further, I think. And I'm gonna use this ferro rod. Good thing I have my glasses on because I can't really, there it is. Hang on, if I lose it out here, we're done. There'll be no video. Okay. We're gonna do this. Oh, ferro rod, that's about Oh, a half an inch maybe not even three quarters it's one of those little ferro rods that come on that dollar uh, waterproof container of matches at Walmart you know the little ferro rod that never stays on the bottom and always comes off yeah it's that one so let me secure this back in the tin and uh, I don't know if it's cheating but I had to bring my own tinder because I knew I knew there'd be nothing out here to to get this going so I have some poplar bark everything is just so wickedly damp it's not even funny some poplar bark I'm just gonna rough up and expose the fibers on it oh would you believe there's mosquitoes out here Woo! and who'd have thunk to bring the bug dope in November Certainly not me. All right, let's get some of this. I'll try to get it on a dry spot here. What else we got in here? Let me get the real thin poplar bark that I can just tear up here. And hopefully this will ignite. Oh no! Bird's nest overboard. Get up here and stay off the wet ground. Oh, mosquitoes. Me no like mosquitoes. I think I have some fat wood shavings in here too, but just to make sure. Awesome knife Tom Chitwood did for me out of the Hickory Burrow. Just gonna gently there it goes. Some fat wood scrapings on here. And maybe a little mine dust. I'll scrape a little off just to just to get it going. Oh mosquito go home. It's just so wet and damp out here. Being in the jungle. Literally. Alright, let me 
see what else I got in my bag of tricks here that might help me. All kinds of goodies in here. The shavings and some some stuff. Some stuff. I don't want to be a failure on camera. All right. Get this lit before the mosquitoes carry me away. Okay, so we're gonna try this teeny, tiny arrow rod. Knife away. Oh, and I made the sheath for it too. It ain't nothing fancy, but I wanted to protect it. Okay. Now I am gonna use the scraper that Dawn sent me that's attached to my Nathan 40071 ferro rod. Um, and I do have a hickory burl handle I put on it as well. All right. Oh, shit. Don't panic. Phew. Oh, sorry, I swore. All right, let's see if I can get this little thing to go before I lose it. You watching? It's not looking so promising. Man, how did I expect people to use these little things? I'm not giving up. Oops. Here we go. Are you kidding me? So, what do you expect for a dollar, right? Maybe I shouldn't have picked this ferro rod. Alright, change of plan. I'm putting it in my mouth so I don't lose it. Ginger straw. Josh, for the pack gear sanctuary. Sorry, but I have a mini ferro rod in my mouth. Have to cheat. I will not let this beat me. I'll pick all my mess up too before I get out of here. <sighs> all right, that ought to do it. I just got my spit all over it. Probably ain't gonna work for real. Oh my God, this might be a full length movie because you know I'm not gonna give up. Oh, it wants to. Pretty soon I'm not gonna have anything to hang on to. Ay, ay, ay. These are just dry cotton balls, by the way. There's no, uh, there's no uh, Vaseline or anything in them. Ah! Fire with a little mini. Barrel run. I want the ginger bag catching on fire. Hey, where's a piece of that fat wood that we uh, took?
truck earlier. I like a challenge, Dawn. Thank you. I wasn't going to give up. All right, let's get this out before Smokey the Bear shows up. Although, shouldn't be too mad because it's so wet. All right. Oh, done. I'm just going to get it down here on the wet ground and then I'll come over and stomp it out really good. Oh, yeah, she's gone. All right, folks. That was the mini tiny barrel rod fire challenge from Dawn at Southpaw Bushcraft. I encourage everyone to participate in this challenge. Um, she's going to be giving away a secret prize or two, I believe. So, uh, yeah, get out there and give it a shot. It's a lot of fun. All right. I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching. Turn it off. Well, never mind. I'll turn it off.